Hello, welcome to this instructional video on the QM125 Benchtop NMR from QMagnetics. This video provides a step-by-step -step guide on sample injection and how to load a sample using the QM125. When you are ready to use the QM125, open the flow path by removing the caps from the inlet and outlet ports. If the instrument is not in use, it is a good idea to keep the flow path enclosed with the caps. Start by securing the stainless steel syringe port to either of the two front panel fittings. The syringe port is necessary to guide a 22 gauge needle when sample is ready to be loaded. Next, secure the drain tube to the other front panel fitting. When sample is injected, the drain tube will allow excess volume to run through the flow path and can be recollected or disposed into a collection flask, such as this Erlenmeyer. The entire volume of the flow path inside the instrument is 360 microliters. With a 1mm syringe and a blunt tip needle, we can immediately draw our sample. Here I am drawing up at least 360 microliters into the syringe, although much smaller volumes can be used by positioning the sample in the center of the flow path. Now we are ready to load our sample. Simply insert the blunt tip needle into the syringe port and inject the sample. If the sample contains suspended solids or undissolved material, use a syringe filter while injecting. After injecting, the sample is now loaded in the flow path. Now, before removing the syringe, first remove the drain tube and close the end of the flow path with a port cap. The syringe may now be removed, followed by the injection port. Lastly, close the front of the flow path to contain the sample for measurement. We hope this video shows how easy and convenient it is to use the QM125. With the QM125, collecting NMR data is quicker and easier than ever before. Thanks for watching! The QM125 from QMagnetics is the only benchtop NMR at 125MHz. Stay tuned for more instructional videos, news, and updates, and learn more about the QM125 benchtop NMR on our website.